almost completing our second week of being open at the Pig and Whistle, I really feel like Dishy Rishi has come to the rescue once again. The Eat Out to Help Out has been phenomenal Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday. After the first week of, you know, being really busy Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I felt like this week um, just gone tapered out a little bit. People's habits have changed, their routines have changed. On a Saturday afternoon where we'd be packed, there was hardly anyone in there. Um, but then we did get busier in the evening, so it's it's learning everyone's new habits and things. But then Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday rolled around, and it was as if that was our Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Um, everyone's come out to eat. We're fully booked for Monday and Tuesday next week already. The deal is just such a good deal, and um, people are loving it. So if we could do that until the end of December, that would be amazing, because that will literally that will literally keep us going. Um, like I said, I petered out a little bit on the Friday, Saturday, but we have to had to get rid of Sky because it's just too much for us to afford now when we don't know what the the influx would be coming in and also people um, not being allowed to stand, not being allowed to shout. It's a very strange way of watching sport. So for now, I just think that would that's a good cost to cut and we're going to stick with that, I think, going forward. The old sergeant opens on Friday, which is very nerve-wracking because that one relies on sport, relies on bulk, relies on sports teams coming in. So... We're not really sure if the locals would be able to keep us going, but there's a few pubs still closed in that sort of area, so we're hopeful that we'll get a, get a little bit in and that the Eat Out to Help Out will also save us over there. I feel really emotional that this is the last time that I'm going to be doing this because it's kind of what's kept me going during lockdown. So it feels like we're, you know, turning a page and starting something new, which is exciting and positive, which I think we need. Um, but it's still a little bit a little bit weird to say this is the last time that I'm doing it. Um, oh, on a positive note, I lost my two kilos of lockdown weight and I haven't smoked for three days. So maybe maybe it really is a new a new leaf. Um, thanks for listening to me babble on and good luck to everyone in their pubs and their adventures. Thanks. <laughs>